For the Emperor. For my home! You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap Did for you brain! you kill a Homs to beat I us? Megil once wished only I to break the circle of stop. suffering. Until I've he scrapped each and every one of you! Maynard, the villagers, the yes. everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished him. to live alongside End you. End it. The way it is what so you want. To Maynard and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Shulk! No! Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know, but I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... we understand each other. Okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace, without hatred or strife. Egil. Why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I am not very good at answering such questions. Have you never thought about it? Never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Meconis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But, but what, what lies, lies beyond, beyond that? that? We, we are, are still, still young, young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Meconis. Say, Say goodbye to our creators, our world. world. But one but day our descendants, descendants will. will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds. Worlds we have never imagined by strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Egil, I, I wish, wish to see that the people of Bionis and the people of Mechonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes, I too desire this, Aglas. 
Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done, were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Maconis, or rather, the existence of anything but itself. And one day, it took control of my friend, Arglas, and he became Zanza. It was Arglas, possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Shouldn't have done that, little brat.